Hey, my friend CA here. And RV. And on Mondays, we talk about things you should try. Things that don't fit in our other playlists. Like unboxing! <laughs> so we have here received Boxu. Boxu. A Japanese sort of snack treat box. I really love the design of this box. Lift the lid up. The magic. Boxu Culture Guide, Volume 6. Haunted Harvest. Haunted Harvest. Hey Boxu buddies, thank you for being a spooky Boxu member. I hope your October has been all treats and no tricks. So let's give you a peek first of what's inside. And it looks like lots of yummy things. So Clearly it's designed for Halloween. It says happy Halloween and it's these crackers. Halloween soy sauce flavored, special two pack of yummy, two large rice ball shaped senbi. Yeah, so they are kind of in that shape. This little triangle that was like the symbol. It tastes like soy sauce. <laughs> as soon as you put it in your mouth, you can taste soy sauce. Oh, really good. <laughs> oh, I like those. Sanrio mm -hmm. characters Halloween cookie assorted. Chocolate and pudding. I didn't really think pudding was a flavor. I was somehow I was expecting the cookie part to be a little thinner mm -hmm. and more cream in it. I want to say it doesn't taste like an Oreo, but any of those types of cookies where you get cookie, cookie, and then something in the mm -hmm. middle, it's kind of like that. The very thin. And then we've got these uh, these little triangles, and they also have our theme packaging this theme because you can see these little ghosts on the front of oh, them. Yeah. These gummies are shaped like little hearts with a sour exterior to balance the sweet interior. I like these. Yeah. It doesn't taste sour to me. No, yeah, I don't feel it. Oh, ooh, got a burst. I'm not sure what these are. Uh, these look like they got a little roughed up. The special fall flavor of our favorite mochi puff, sweet potato. I didn't even realize there's such a thing as mochi puffs. I always think of mochi as like that really is an ice cream. cream, like the coating for ice cream. They're almost like designed to look a bit like little potatoes. <laughs> They're really light. They kind of disintegrate in your mouth. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. I don't, actually, I don't mind it. I think it was more the texture that threw me off. It doesn't taste like sweet potatoes to me. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. Got, this is small. Ooh, and it feels squishy. So I know it's another gummy. Mm -hmm. This one here is walnut. And this one here is walnut with sort of a roasted soybean. It is squishy. Just like I'm sure RB loves the fact that I'm squishing the food that she's going to eat. It doesn't really taste like anything. Well, I think because of its texture, it would be more like chewy, gummy, mm -hmm. but it's not. It's more like a, a paste-ish. Mm -hmm. But I didn't taste it in the first bite, but like well, after a little bit, I could I taste it. I think there's pieces of walnut in there. You can feel, uh, yeah, chunks of walnut in there. I wouldn't say it's terrible. So the the only thing stuff. I could taste was like the soy sauce. Like the walnut, kurumi walnut mochi. Not sure about the kanaku kurumi walnut mochi <laughs> with the soybean and soy mm -hmm. sauce. Yes. Mochi rice cracker. Oh, well, we are big rice, Japanese rice snack fans. Yeah. So I'm sure we will like this one. I like these. I'm gonna come taste the salt in the sea. <laughs> the salt in the sea. Salt in the sea. Must be the seaweed part. Mushroom chips, butter and soy sauce flavor. They like little mushroom stems. <laughs> no, it tastes like mushroom. It's almost like it's rehydrated into a mushroom stem. <laughs> oh, what one has to do for the purpose of video. They're disgusting. <laughs> But that's coming from somebody who doesn't like mushrooms. I do like mushrooms. You can taste the butter on these. There certainly is a mushroom flavor. I'm not sure I would sit down and kind of just sit and eat them as a, like a snack. Little things with little corn, little corn shapes corn. on them. What are corn rice crackers? Yay, more rice crackers. Look, they're so cute. They got little corn guys on them. Certainly a salty butter taste on the outside. Nice and crunchy. I can see these being very addictive. 
Hopefully you don't have to buy them in individual packages because that would be wasteful. You can taste the butter taste and the, the butter. rice cracker. Yeah. You can't really taste the corn. Okay. It's almost as if you bought one of those instant rice things. That's what oh, it yeah. feels like. It is. It looks just like if you bought noodles. There they are. Mm. I like these. Yes, these are good. You can get the flavor of ramen with the crunchy texture of these dried noodles. I like those. So you've got... A tea donut. Ooh, you're all really dunky. I was gonna say, it does look like a donut. Black tea leaves are infused into the batter to create a dense, creamy donut that melts in your mouth to reveal the arom aromatic flavor of royal milk tea. I don't think this wouldn't stand up for dipping or dunking in tea. Yeah. But certainly you could have with a tea. Okay. This Ebby Crunch black pepper balances flavor with a mix of rice crackers and peanuts, but packs on the heat with a concentrated punch of pepper. It's like a, a cracker and peanut. Rice off. Oh. Yeah, you can really taste the shrimp. I like the taste before the shrimp. Yeah. I'm not sure I'm a fan. Kombucha pumpkin red bean. For those new to Ampan, it's a sweet roll with a filling, most commonly red bean, that in this case is a white bean paste mixed with pumpkin red bean. So yeah, if you've had sort of those paste buns, that's what they're saying, they're using white bean, I guess, with pumpkin. Oh. I actually like that. I think I like it better than red bean. I think it's just it's like a giant cracker. rice cracker. Yeah. Fried rice cracker hit, really hits the spot with this rich buttery flavor. Thick yet light. Huge. Fried. It is. It looks like something that's been fried. I think of it almost like um like a fritter. It really tastes like the sea urchin or whatever. I was ex I was kind of expecting it would be very like the shrimp. But no, certainly really salty. Sweet potato. And then we have, yeah, it's gonna have brown sugar. So they do look like standard chips, although they're much heavier, Yeah. I find. Like they're not light, light chips. You can smell the brown sugar yeah. on them. So you can hear, taste the sweet potato, you can taste the brown sugar. I, I like these, but they're... Me too. All right, we're getting near the end. These look again like a bag of <laughs> noodles. You know, I always get nervous when people say, don't shy away. It kind of sets the stage of, you may not like it, but don't give up. Oops, 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 too much stuff. Little noodle sticks. And then I talked about beef tongue, so I'm not sure if that's what these little flecks are. It does have like a beef taste. And then we're in the last one. <clears throat> Roasted organic Japanese green tea. This will be good to try with the... Does that mean recycling? Donut. So I was talking about sort of other boxes where you'd want to put this to the side. Actually, you're going to want to look at this book at the same time. You can find the items you had in the box. It would give you a little more information on the... Uh, company they were from, the area they were from, it flagged in a few of them if they were vegetarian or not or if they were sweet and savory. You will notice that I have terrible pronunciation. I kind of wish for myself, but maybe it's just me, in some of those, if you almost had like a bit of a phonetic pronunciation, because I feel like I was just saying words and they're probably incorrect and that would have been helpful for me to understand if I was actually saying the names of products or cities correctly. They have given you a map of Japan and then indicated of the snacks you got, the areas that they were from, uh, I thought, which was really a nice touch to. That was the uh, October Haunted Harvest Boxu Classic Box. Lots of snacking we did. I'm really pleased with the amount of stuff that you get in it. Because sometimes with these food boxes, you, you get like three things. Yeah, you don't get that much. And in a few of them, when they're individually packed items, they give you more than one. So, you know, for sharing, which is a nice touch. 
uh, and quite the variety. Like there was a nice mix of sweet and savory in there. It wasn't kind of all candy and it wasn't all crackers. It was like a nice uh, mix of stuff. And I really like the addition of the tea too, like the drink part. Yeah. So we'll have to go try that one out. I am happy with most of the items. Mm. I didn't like the mushroom one or the last noodle one we tried. Okay. Like those the, are the ones that I really didn't like. The beef tongue? Yeah. Yes. So you, you can find us here on Mondays talking about things to try, things that don't fit in our other playlists, such as snacking and unboxing subscription boxes. Don't forget to press that like button, subscribe and press the bell button so you get notifications of more amazing videos with me in them. <laughs> Eating? Yeah. I'll be sure to include a link in the description below about Baksu if you are interested in yourself. It makes a great gift you know, sort of for the family, for sharing, great for game night, um, or if you want to make it a gift for somebody else, or just for yourself. And until next time, two, two, two <laughs> to, to be, be met. Out. Woo!